Hi everyone, it's Pat here from the website SophiaBus.com. Um, thanks a million for checking in. Uh, I really appreciate it when people look at my videos or just find them by accident or if they were looking on Google, have come across them or something like that. Um, you know, I'm no great filmmaker, I'm never going to make that claim, you know. But I do enjoy traveling and um, so I try and make a video of places where I've been. So they may be of help to people, maybe they're not. But some people do get back to me and, and and say they were quite useful, you know. So if you've been following me, I'm in Buenos Aires, the capital of Argentina at the moment, and it's a really beautiful city. Uh, I have an Airbnb, I'm gonna stay here for at least a month, and um, it's incredible value at the moment. 2020, Argentina's in another, another uh, financial crisis, so the peso is in free fall, uh, so it's a good time if you have hard currency, you know, like euro or the dollar to come here, you know, and see this absolutely beautiful city. So I'm staying in a place called Palmero, and this video is about Palmero, uh, whether is, you would like to stay here or not, you know. There's two areas. There's uh, Palmero Hollywood, which is where I am at the moment, and that's where I'm staying, right next to mainland train station. Whoa! The noise doesn't bother me at all. What noise? <laughs> no, I actually like trains, you know, and it's, uh, I don't mind that at all, uh, believe it or not. Um, so that's Palmero, Hollywood, and people say they call it Hollywood because there's a few TV stations here. I have seen Fox Sports just around the corner, you know. The other district, which is only about less than two kilometers away, is Palmero, uh, Soho. Now that's where there's a lot of bars and a lot of nightclubs. It's more lively. Um, so uh, now there are bars and restaurants here as well, but it's probably not as lively. But you know what? Let's take a look at the both popular districts of Palmero and you can make up your mind where you might want to stay should you visit Buenos Aires. Okay, so I've just come out of the apartment there and I'm walking through um, Palmero, Hollywood. So there's a lot of kind of uh, there's bars and restaurants here. Now, I don't think it's as lively as uh, Palmero Soho, but there um, seems very relaxed. Now there is again, uh, it's just kind of midday, you know? So, um, so it's really kind of plush, you know? I've seen an awful lot of like dog walkers too, you know? People walking maybe like, uh, uh, 10 dogs uh, so people have money to pay people to walk their dogs uh, you know this place is uh, not short of money so as I said there's the Fox building uh, Fox Corporation do you know what no matter how good an area is you'll always get one bad neighbor okay so these are the type of bars and cafes cafes you'll find and restaurants in um, Palmetto Hollywood there are loads of them and um, so lots of cafe options if you just want to sit down and have a coffee lots of kind of really uh, plush looking restaurants um, definitely a nice place to live you know if uh, if I was going to live in Buenos Aires uh, this would be high on my list for sure and of course like everywhere I've seen in South America if you're in a good area one thing you'll see more than if you're in a bad area is lots of police. There's always lots of police in the rich areas in South America. It's a one constant during my travels. Okay, so um, I'm heading out now of uh, Palmero, um, Hollywood, and I'm making my way up to Palmero, Soho. Now, as I said, there's very little between them. There's only about two kilometers and it's not like there's nothing in between them you're still going to find a lot of bars and restaurants a place where you can sit down and have a coffee you'll find that like really nice uh, restaurant you know so it's just a bit less concentrated um, but there are still a lot of options uh, between both areas hola amigo como estas guy there saying hello um so yeah so i'm going to make my way up now to um the soho area just walking through the park there now, and I'm not sure even if you can see it. Uh, I see green birds. I've never seen those before. 
Um, I'm like, what a brilliant disguise uh, to be living in a tree for a bird. It'd be great. See, there's two birds up there. I hope you can see it. Uh, they're uh, shifting, as we used to say years ago in Cork. Kissing, I think they call it now. Uh, so, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, I've never seen green birds like that before, you know? We should have green birds in Ireland. How come we don't have green birds in Ireland? But like, what a great disguise. Okay, so I made my way to Palmero, uh, so I think, uh, took a bit of a finding, uh, just walking from where I'm saying, so this is what it looks, it looks very kind of bohemian, um, now obviously this is during the day, so I'm sure this is like hopping at night time, and I'm definitely going to check it out at night time, so I'm going to go uh, further deeper in and see what it looks like. So it's really nice there, I have to say. Um, some really kind of lovely decorated uh, houses and everything. Kind of reminds me of, uh, uh, I think it's Commune 13 in Medellin in uh, Colombia. But definitely a very attractive place. Yes, it's really nice there, really, really nice. Uh, very relaxed, but uh, of course it's during the daytime, you know. As I said, it's probably a different beast at night time, you know. But it's full of bars, full of restaurants, um, kind of full of uh, arty farty kind of things, you know. So uh, I'd say it's a bit more expensive than other areas, you know, for sure. But it's if you're living here, you got money, you know, that's for sure. Okay, so I'm keep walking around, and it's a lot larger than I thought it would be. Like, it is fairly large. Um, oh, look at that. 90 for a beer, uh, for a pint. So, that's 90 pesos. 60 to the dollar, so that's about one and a half dollars. So, it's about 140 euro. That's the cheapest I've seen yet. Man, can I really calculate when it comes to beer? No problem. I can do my conversions, really. 70 for a half pint. Look, if you drink a half pint, you should be paying more. That's my opinion. Drink a feckin' pint. Don't be drinking half pints. Okay, so that's it. I'm back in the apartment again. Um, I'm on the complex. I'm on top of the roof. Not a bad view, huh? For 22 euro uh, a day. So it's not bad at all. So that's just a look at the two uh, main areas of Palomero. Um, I don't know, which do you like? Uh, for me, I don't know if I was going to be in Buenos Aires for like two or three days, I might want to be closer to where all the action is, you know. Um, but because I'm living here for like a month, I really, really like where I am. Uh, it's really nice. There's so many parks, there's so many cool shops, there's so many cool places to have a coffee. Um, you know, you can eat well here if you want to, or you can eat cheaply like there's supermarkets and there's like butchers and there's uh, fruit and veg places it's got everything here you know so and at the end of the day if i want to have a beer um, and i want a bit more uh, action or a bit more lively place than anything it's only 20 minutes walk up to uh, soho or a very very cheap taxi which is probably better if you're coming home late at night uh, i feel this area is very safe but of course, you know, where there's money, uh, there's people trying to take money, you know. As they say, fish where the fish are. So that's a look at uh, both Palmero areas. So stay tuned for more videos in my time in Argentina. Take it easy. Pat Sophie and Thanks a million.